Good morning, folks. It's 7.30 a.m. on the third month, 21st day, 2025. The wicked glitch flies again. And don't let them tell you that that doesn't affect the clouds. That's a ge very specific geoengineering move. And being done between two radar stations, it's going to pin the flow I'm across the country. And I'll set this into motion. Uh, I'll pull it back, and as you can see, the timestamp down here. I'll let it run. Just the timestamps, even. If people think you fake your data, I, I think you need to go follow their work somewhere else because you, you must be a liar uh, to think I'm going to be that. So, anyways, there's timestamps going past. Uh, you can see that's current information. You can see the wicked glitch is flying again. This is Giles Radar Station here. This is Alice Springs. And both of them are, are doing some geoengineering moves that's very visible in the cloud formation itself cloud formations itself because when i go over here uh, to that area if i put some of the borders out you, you'll see the town better and giles uh, we know what you did okay, so if i put the boundaries in it's going to help me a little bit too right so we see the center uh, right over here of where the glitch is is going right so if i do this uh, here and pull up my pen let's just hope this loads uh, i didn't i neglected to see if the pen was working before i start Sometimes the program is lagging, but not today. So you can see, it just as plain as day, that this area here has an emitter, right? And it's pulsing only halfway on, like that. And when I looked at your radar, right, you see that right there? And I pull up the radar over here, and I see this formation doing the same thing, same thing. Yeah, see if we can get the picture of this up. And I'll move it right along. And yeah, I'm burning out on weather. Okay, so I'm going to be pouring myself into the microscope work that I find very fulfilling. And yes, uh, more stuff is arriving. Hopefully the new cameras today, because I'm not happy with that one. So if I mark this, you're going to notice something. Uh, I don't really know how to do side by sides, but I'll hand the imagery off afterwards to, uh, to some people that... I'm very good at that. Very, very good. So you'll see the same shape. Right? This one here is doing pulse, 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 pulse. Is what we call the swirl beam. And as that spins, it'll, it'll kick stuff that direction. This, this pins moisture this way. This allows flow only that way from that part of the ocean over here. Right? It's the only way it'll flow in. So this is shut. It's shut. So all the flow from the tropics has to come across. That has to come in. And there's a dividing line here that stuff's going that way, and stuff's going that way, and that's about to change to all of that heading that way. So this is a very another long period of wet. Now, I told you weeks ago you was in for a very long period of wet. I made a song, you know, 40 days and 40 nights did it rain children, even, I said. So that image there is clearly mentioned and that other image I drew you a moment ago. I want to look at the glitch here, and I'll look at the glitch here. I say ding dong. Uh, that wicked glitch is a weather modifier. And that's an example of looking at clouds visibly and matching it up with a radar image, uh, proving a correlation between a Nexrad radar's deployment to, of its uh, energy to, to get a return to tell what the weather is, uh, actually affecting cloud masses in a predictable way. And it's been going on all night, that, that particular one. And Alice has been quite busy too. So really, I'm going to roll through pretty much what's going to go on. It's, it's just a really long period of wet, man. It's just not ending. And some of the totals starting to show up as this comes in over Carpentaria that heads across to Queensland is very high. Very, very high. But all this been turned your way. You want to see how they did it? Yeah, I got, I got your minds tickled a bit. I know I'm jumping all over the place. Uh, this is at, uh, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon UTC on the 19th. Uh, we use UTC Universal Time. It's about two days ago. And they set this beam up out here where they caught the front end of a tropical, uh, tropical storm 29. Right, and they really encapsulated the moisture here. You see the pinpoint here? There's a device down here. It's triangulated perfectly, and I don't know what it is. Uh, there's a defense something there. Something has emitted from that exact spot, and I'm not sure what it is. 
But that has a lot to do with it. If I roll this uh, alarm, you're going to see lots of big air where they white it out as they really beamed where you could see it. It's they had to get rid of them, but I know it. A little tickle line here is showing up. So I know they got guiding lines to bring stuff in. And causing stuff to go this flow here feeds in here uh, the dynamics of the ocean towards the underside of where that beam is allowing flow to mix. It's very important that they predict when it mixes. Usually when I see that move, they bring cold air for, up from Antarctica, and in about a couple of days you get some really nasty storm lines coming across the southern Australian big. So I'll be watching for that just because of that move I've seen. Okay, but see how much of the water has been turned your way? It's been turned this direction and this direction. So these beams actually cause uh, as they can. It's well uh, spoken out that harp type uh, deployments of energy in the sky can and do uh, induce changes in uh, the jet stream. See that curve there? And when you see that, there'll be another one coming out the other side. So you can really predict there'll be one over here and matching that. You just have to trust me on that because I looked. But when you see that, that's a big one. It catches the electrojet up in the upper atmosphere, the magnetosphere. And actually, some I think yeah, yeah, some of the rockets blowing up is putting particles way, way up in the sky. And that's evidence of some of that uh, fallout from Elon Musk's... Uh, Terrible experiments going on, poisoning my air. It is. I was feeling sick the last couple of days, and every time one of his experiments blows up. So this is turning a lot of water your way. That's not a very natural way to do it. And this up here is common. Let me take it down to the uh, time span of the last 24 hours. If, you're, uh, if you don't like flashing lights, turn away a minute. Yeah, this is going to use the flashes. And you can see how much water by the beams have just suddenly, that was headed that way. He says, I'm coming into ice. This one here says, yeah, I was drifting that way. I'm free to come towards the shore. And the Malachi crunch of all the particles is happening. And that's going to coalesce a lot of droplets. So you got some nasty suddenly popped up. Because this is what, what, how much water we fit all rain down at once at this moment. Even if it isn't raining, that's the potential for the rain. It's up in this top range. And it's very, very thick tendril of water. Okay, so we have to calculate that in our totals. Okay? okay so, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you about that. So I, I'm starting to get rid of some of these screens as I go. Yeah, I've got to let, you know, because when you got the, the glitches frying and you got the evidence in the sky of it not being a glitch, a you know, weather modification thing is I drew out for you a little bit ago. So I'm going to continue just rolling along. I feel like I'm going to be repeating myself all month long. And then I'll do some mic uh, microscope work. A few items came today. But I don't want to use the doo-doo camera, but I'm going to anyhow. Yeah, it's time to show the blood. It's time to show some food. Uh, if you're weak of heart or stomach, do not watch these microscope shows. I will I'll be showing stuff unapologetically. As, uh, I didn't do it, so I got nothing to apologize for. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is, uh, it's very scary. I'll tell you that in advance. It's disheartening. Uh, and some of you will know the solutions from some of what I'm going to show. And I'm going to want solutions. Uh, you're going to see stuff in ways you've probably never seen stuff experimented on. Using light. Uh, fractal light, even. I'm trying to get a set of... Uh, Isaac Newton's prisms on stands, three of them, so I can do fractal light experiments on microbes. Yeah, I use the sunlight coming in my window. I want to shine it on some samples and get actual fractal light. So in communication with Dr. Clark, he should might be able to get his set for me uh, to use. Hey, it's time for us all to put our heads together, and I'm not talking about banging each other's heads together with like coconut sounds and things when we argue of stupid stuff. Yeah, that bit of a cyclonic system is not very well organized even going into the beginning of the week. It's just pumping its water up like a gear, just turning it, turning it, sending it in on a predictable corridor right across the top. While at the same time, this is coming in here, and the EMF over through here 
is the only thing separating those two masses of stars. Because that should flow into that and then skate right on out to sea. It will suck all that straight through it. So the EMF flow of these beams running off the coast that I was showing you off Mimic are definitely, definitely controlling the flow. Let me see if we're running. Yep. Not looking at comments. That is another. This is a day I worry about as the 26, as the electrics of this and this connect. As these, these are like wires in the sky. You're going to get, that's when the lightning's going to kick off. So we got to watch for this coming in through the 27th and 28th Australia time gates. Again, the Townsville corridor over there with CAD can still getting the belting because the EMF is uh, from that Yapoon is sending off and from that military training area is pinning everything north. I keep, I keep picking up on it in the cloud images. And when they ain't hiding their lies in the skies from educated eyes, are they? And this is curveballing. To look at all the dynamics out here in the ocean with the beams, this is going to do the weirdest thing i ever seen. It should do a curve like this. It might even go all the way around. But at any time, they're going to use this to say fear. Oh, my God, it's off the coast. Oh, my God, it's off the coast. Robert, 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 what's it going to do? Uh, as the beams lock the coastline, it'll tell you what it's going to do. And we don't know until we see the geoengineering moves what the weather's going to be. Anybody that, that says different than that is, is some kind of weather swami. Or believing that even this windy graphic is going to be accurate to you. So I go by pressure maps. A long period of wet. Some days more, some days less. And it's on and on and on. And as we get to the end of the month, whammos. Hi. Hi, March. I hear about April showers. Oh, here it come. Well, your April showers don't bring May flowers. Because your April showers are wintery type storms coming. And the dynamics of the winter storms are being set up now. So I'm expecting probably within the next two weeks that some of these meshes to bring up some really cold air because of the action going down here. You see, you don't have any super highs down here. So that means the, the heaters are pretty much off. Yet I'm not seeing any big pulses coming along from down here up. Uh, in the last uh, 36 hours. And it's usually indicative of the cooling the pole up enough to start letting you have winter. Yes, 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 let the heating bells begin. And Mr. Burns says, block the sun. Excellent. There's a guy named Mr. Burns who wants to block the sun. Or he's promoting a document wanting to block the sun. Lot. I'm not kidding you. And go right to it. This is the Siggy document. Siggy 111, Paris disagreement. Oh, wait, that's a different one. That need for human rights based thing is a whole different thing. It's all about a sales pitch. But when I go over here to this document, you know, Paris Agreement Governance, United Nations. You see this guy's name? Will you see birds? Excellent. Ex if that dude doesn't look a little bit natified and nobody does, look at this. Hot. I was like, I, hey, I do need that. I will fart in your general direction, Mr. William C.G. Burge, senior fellow. All right, fellas, let's go. Boom, boom, and plume in your asses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they want to do to you? Oh, hey, let's break. I don't see silver iodide I mentioned here. I see sulfur dioxide ingestion. M mimic a volcano, you know. Let's have some VOG. But how about this uh, potential delivery vehicles for stratospheric sulfur dioxide injection, including... Um, aircraft, artillery shell, and stratospheric balloons. Yeah. How about this Russian climatologist talking about the genesis suggestion here? You ready for this suggestion? They're suggesting uh, preformed particles in your sky. See that right there? There have been suggestions of ejecting preformed, in other words, yeah, preformed nanoparticles is what we find. Small things. Dust particles, they call it. Yeah, you're getting dusted all right. And that ain't angel dust, it's devil dust. That's what I'm calling it now. You have particles of other chemicals uh, to effectuate the change. How about titanium oxide there? Titanium oxide. That's chemical. I call these chemtrails for a reason. You see that date there? 2010? Well, it is. A long time ago they had this meeting in the USA Congress. You can't tell me this ain't real. I call them chemtrails for a reason, because that's chemicals, and I think it's carcinogenic in certain ways, uh, titanium oxide, if I'm uh, thinking about that correctly. Hey, so how about that? Where's the silver iodine they lie about all the time with their geoengineering? What in the hell is this in our skies? We deserve an honest answer, because, man, the chem was thick today. Look at that curtain of crap over Cooper Petey. Look at this stuff going off the coast here. Look at Tezzy. 
See the EMF? How many directions of the wind you have blowing here? It's all done with radars. All of it. And the pointing of this one's to a ship right here. There's no island right here. There's something is emitting something from that point. Go look. Use your head, draw the lines, get a pen out, print it, go look. When you see a big pulse like this on the radar, bzz, bzz, you go look at the clouds at set view and see if it's affecting it. And is it in the area? And I go, yes, it is. And it looks just like the beam. So don't you tell me they're not beaming with an X-Red Raider. I'll tell you to quit being ignorant, quit being a shell, take your head out your ass, or the sand it's hiding in, and you'll see how badly you're getting fucked from behind, because, man, this is bad. Oh, Tourette's is showing up. It's, it's an endless. The endless story. It's leading to just terrible totals. It's just terrible, terrible totals. Yeah, I'm just going to go right to these. I don't like being full on Tourette's. As they're working everything out to sea. This is all tentative. We don't know where they're putting the beams five days from now. Now I go over to the 27th. <coughs> it's still working inland. And they've had terrible totals through here. And then whammo. Let's just move this straight out to sea. Right along the road they want. Right out of here. Right along the Can Can Corridor. Have it, have it, have it, have it, have it. No freaking warnings. No freaking warnings. Half a meter of water come. In a five-day period of time. That's, that's some days you're getting ten, some days you're getting two, some days you're getting a fart. Until we watch the chem bombs, until we see the deployments, we will not know. But I will give you an absolute heads up. Yeah, it's showing the curveball, this one. Yeah, this will be the most accurate so far. According to the EMF in existence right now. And when I see that there, they're going to hover it. They're going to stall it and turn it. Where you see these, it spins and it keeps dipping totals. See, I'll read the fucking tendrils like a motherfucker, man. Yep. This is the weirdest thing you've ever seen, in it? This is geoengineering and it's fine. It's moving rivers of moisture using radars. Terrible totals coming your way, folks. Toxic air like fuck along this coastline. Uh, these are handleable totals, but you will see flash flooding down through these back areas. Yep. Have you figured it out yet? Tim's weather and, and geoengineering is real. How about you, Higgins? And until you do, you ain't never going to know which one of these maps to go with. You'll have endless meetings. And right now, I picked that one. I just showed you. All right. So for the next few days, you got the wet. She's going to work her way inland right around that radar deployment that went like that. It's so... Batten down the hatches, here it comes, here it comes, and the rain is coming down, here it comes, here it comes, when the chem bombs come to town and heavy totals are falling down. That's right. Some other creature someday won't be around. There's a Lando cane. Look at this big load they got spinning out here, right over the daily waters. Have the daily chem bomb waters. Yeah, that's your Lando cane. And as they move that south, it's going to bring the dynamics. And some of these heavy flows are because of this chem and the meeting of all this stuff. And the big beams that are going to swell the stream, that kill the dreams, and really get nip shit. And I'm going to have to click up. They're modifying your weather if you don't believe it. It could kill you anyhow. And if you're not informed, well, then you go around without knowledge that you need to make decisions all right big love stay safe peace uh, watch that air quality today it's really bad uh, big love peace